make sure to visit jackburford.com and be sure to like Jack Burford Chevrolet on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter and subscribe to our Jack Burford Chevrolet YouTube channel. We load great, fresh, informational content daily about our great new and certified pre-owned vehicles. It's beginning to look a lot like winter out there on this Tuesday. Hope you're staying safe and warm inside as you watch this Tuesday WBON TV afternoon news brief. The Waco Fire Department reports that one of their trucks has been stolen. The vehicle is the Kentucky Fire Commission and State Fire Rescue Training 2011 Ford F-350. This vehicle has decals on the side which identifies it as an official vehicle. If anyone locates the truck with the official tag number W6226, they are to immediately contact law enforcement. A woman was taken to custody in Boyle County after she allegedly had a large amount of drugs near a child. According to police, 36-year-old Tanisha Berry was charged with three counts of trafficking as well as wanton endangerment. The Sheriff's Department reports that a search warrant had been executed following a narcotics investigation in Danville. 22 grams of crack cocaine were seized as well as nearly 70 of heroin and over a pound of methamphetamine were all discovered. Over $4,000 in cash as well as a handgun and drug paraphernalia were also seized as a result of the investigation, all found near the child. Barry was arrested and lodged in the Boyle County Detention Center. Roads are already slippery as it is, but in Menifee County, a truck leaking fluid has made the dangerous road conditions even worse. Drivers are asked by the Kentucky Transportation Cabinet to exercise caution in the area of Kentucky 1693, where a truck had developed a hole in its hydraulic line and then sprayed fluid all over the roadway. They warn that this leak has caused the road to be extra slippery in certain spots. And a Berea man was recently arrested for first-degree sexual abuse after a warrant. According to the citation, 54-year-old Jerry Gray had walked up to a 13-year-old victim and pressed his body up against them and tried to make the victim touch him inappropriately. He also continued the abuse by touching the victim and putting his head in their lap. He was booked into the Madison County Detention Center. For more stories such as these, be sure to visit Richmond's very own WBONTV.com. I'm Marissa Hempel.